looking for a summer read, may we suggest Coal Black Lies. It is set in the Virginia and Kentucky coal mines in the 1800s. It is written by best-selling author Cindy Sproyles and will be released later this month. Cindy joins us now here in the studio this morning to tell us more about her fifth novel. Great to have you on the show, Cindy. Well, thank you for having me. Congratulations. You must be very excited for its release. I am excited. I'm very excited and we're, we're just counting down the day. Counting them down. Counting Won't be long down. now. And you said you're already now getting ready to start writing the next one. That's right. <laughs> My goodness. Well, tell us a little bit about this particular book. I know it obviously <clears throat> takes us back to the, the area that you know, love, and live in here. East Tennessee, Virginia, Kentucky. Right. Uh, I base all of my Appalachian novels within this area. I try to anyway. Uh, but Colbeck Lies is about those little lies that we tell ourselves to make us justify the things that we do that maybe we probably shouldn't do. Uh, so it's, it's touching on that <clears throat> and uh, helping us uh, hopefully figure out that uh, the truth is always the best thing. But it is set in the minds uh, of uh, Kentucky. Uh, so it, it's fun to have done the research there and to learn a little bit more about that part. And I know one of these characters in particular in your book is very personal to you. It was very, yes. it, you had intentions of bringing that forward. I did. Uh, I have a character in the book called Audie and she is a little girl who has Down syndrome, which was a challenge to write in the 1800s. Uh, but yes, we have our own son that uh, has, uh, was born with Fragile X syndrome and is an adult now. And uh, so I always wanted to write uh, a character with disabilities into one of my novels. The challenge was writing it into the 1800s because we had to figure out how those people were treated. Yeah. Uh, but yes, I had the opportunity to bring that awareness uh, to those sweet, sweet people that have those disabilities. And I was reading some of the reviews on your book, of course, right there in the beginning. Somebody said, you must set the time aside because you're not going to want to put it down. It's a <laughs> one-time one read. You're going to want to do that. And it also said, it's a triumph of redemption. It is. Tell me a little bit about how that story, I know it's kind of played over time through a few, several years. Yes, um, it is a triumph of, of redemption. It is the man Joshua Morgan has lost his own daughter to a lie that he told. Uh, and so it's years of him uh, coming to grips with, you know, the, his own fault uh, of having lost his daughter. And so it does, it takes him and his wife uh, because not only have they lost a child, but they're beginning to lose their relationship as well because of that. Yeah. Uh, so it is the redemption of where they work their way through. Uh, and then this little girl, Audie, comes in and she teaches them uh, what, what a joy it is. And, they, and she brings back the life into their marriage and into them. So it is a redemption story. They find peace at the end. And of course, something that we can all gain a lot of understanding through this book. Yes. Yeah. Yes, I hope so. Well, it's a it looks wonderful. I can't wait to read it. Thank you so much for joining us today, and congratulations. Thank you for having me. We're going to give everybody some information. If you would like to obtain a copy when it is released, coming up June 17th, 